Hello everybody and today we are going to do a short video about this piece of equipment that you're going to see me using probably quite a bit as we start these Titan builds. So we'll see you guys inside. Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be talking about this beautiful brand new Vivor ultrasonic cleaner. Now I've talked about ultrasonic cleaners before. They're great tools if you need to remove paint, clean models, get stuff ready back for being built again or worked on again. <clears throat> but this tool is kind of a new model, it's a new model for one, that uh, Vivor has released. And I want to talk about this one a little bit because, well, one, shiny mirror finish, pretty. But also it has some new features that the older Vivor ones did not have available to it. And it's really going to be a heavily used tool for me with these Titan builds because, I, and I mentioned it in the initial video, when these are pulled from the mold, they have a release compound on them and they don't get cleaned off when they're there. So if you want your paint to stick, well, guess what? You got to clean them off. Now, a lot of people just take hot soapy water and brushes and go to town. But let's be honest, this Warhound Titan is bags and bags and other bags over here of pieces that's going to take a long time and i want to keep everything organized and kind of do it fast and effectively that's where this comes in so we're going to use this ultrasonic cleaner with just water and soap to clean all these parts in a cycle i'm going to go basically bag by bag clean them put them back dry them put them back in the bag um, I still may take a toothbrush and do some just to make sure the compounds releasing but the key thing that we get with this is we get temperature controlled we get time controlled this model compared to older models we have a degauss mode we have full wave and we have a semi wave mode so we can actually use this in a gentler wave format now this is not like my bigger ones that you've seen in the videos this is, I can't even remember the size of this one. I want to say this is a three liter, a lot smaller, but for the parts I'm working with with the Titan, this guy is going to do everything I needed to do for the shop. So we've got new features. We've got a new look. Um, this is my third Vivor ultrasonic cleaner in the shop. And it just has a lot of good capabilities. Um, so a lot we can do there this is the three liter 40 kilohertz and uh, i live in the u.s so u.s power cord is what comes with it but i know this is going to be just kind of a short snippet video but this is the tool i'm going to be using to do a lot of the cleaning on these parts really fast and one of the hints that i do here to mine is this cage small parts can get through it get down here in the bottom i don't want that so i actually take a either I'll use T infusers for the small parts. I'll put them in a T infuser and put them in here. Or sometimes what I do is I take a uh, metal window screen mesh and press it into the bay here. Um, that way my parts can't escape and get lost in the water of this wonderful machine. So just kind of a few quick few minutes video of what this tool is for, why we're using it and just it's going to, honestly, guys, as many parts as between this and the Warlord Titan I've got, this little guy is going to be a lifesaver. So if you enjoy this content, you want to learn more about these kind of tools. I do have another video of why I use these for like stripping paint and cleaning models and resetting it, pewter, all that kind of stuff. If it's acrylic paint or grease or oil, even some of the enamels, you can use this thing to get stuff cleaned off. Um, I even use one of these with just soapy water to on miniatures that I print to get some of the excess resin to release sometimes when it's in a small crack or I'm worried about breaking the model this guy comes in handy now again I use soapy water or distilled water or I use a degreaser like LA totally awesome or simple green in this machine <laughs> don't put denatured alcohol in there it's a bad idea uh, or isoprobol because um, this heats up it can catch fire so don't do that um, but again, I like, I can set, I can control my temperature somewhat. Now, if it gets above the temperature, well, you know, it's an ultrasonic cleaner. It's vibrating stuff. It's moving. It's sending sound waves. It's going to heat up. 
And that's what this does is it's hot and motion is how it cleans everything. So just kind of keep that in mind. Don't put gases and stuff in here, but for my process, for what I'm having to do here, soapy water is all I need. And also, you know, if you got a wedding ring or a piece of jewelry that you need clean, these guys can come in handy for that. It comes handy for automotive parts as well. Um, if you just need to get it good and cleaned off, these can be very handy for that process. So kind of something that I like having these in my shop. They come in very handy. I like the different sizes. These are, this is a three liter. I have two 10 liters and I think I have a one liter version of this that I keep around the house. So each one kind of has its job. The big 10, the 10, the two 10 liters and the little one liter, they're all LA totally awesome. This guy is soapy, going to be just soapy water. So hope you guys enjoyed the content. No short, sweet video, straight to the point. Make sure you're subscribed to continue further seeing the model builds and print stuff. And we will catch you guys next week with another video. Thanks, guys. Thanks for joining today, guys. There she is in action. And there is the Cree Works one as well. And like I said, also in my shop out here, I've got the big boys. They are used mainly for paint removal, but this is the new one we just saw, and she is hard at work cleaning on the Warhound Titan. See you guys in the next video.